Hello everyone, Derek Stam Toys, and we are back, finally getting into the Ultimate Edition Series 21 review of the Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition. Really excited to get into this. Of course, we got all the bullshish on the back of the box. This is the second Ultimate Edition that Cody Rhodes has actually had. Of course, we had the Mattel Ultimate Creations Cody Rhodes from when he returned at Mania and fought Seth. Didn't pick that one up, but I wanted to pick this one up because, to be honest with you, the Supreme on the AEW's and the butterfly joints are getting so loose it's kind of getting a tad bit irritating to fed with it. Maybe I'll still fed with it here and there, but I kind of want to make this the main go. And, well, honestly, worst case scenario, maybe I'll just have to pick up a few of, of the Elite Cody Rhodes and we can start fetting with those as well, just to kind of add in some variety with the attires, because I've been using, like, the same three attires since I started the fed, so... Hopefully this will be, like, a nice little change, but with that being said, why don't I shut the hell up and we can get into the... Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition review after we get him out of his plastic prison here. Alrighty, now that we've fought to get the Cody Rhodes out of his plastic prison, we've got all the accessories for the most part laid out here. Of course, there's some stuff that is already on the Cody figure that I put on, or well, that was already on there and that I put on, I should say. But, taking a quick gander at everything that's on the ring mat, of course he does come with two different sets of hands. He has Mike holding hands, and then he has his whoa hands, you know? Nice little accessories there. Kind of wish we got a set of fist hands, but worst case scenario, I'll find at least like a fist hand that I could use with this if need be. Of course he does come with two different heads. I do like the way this one looks, it's not the worst head scan I've ever seen, and it doesn't have the neck tattoo up on under his ear essentially, which is something I'm going to have to get into here in a little bit. Of course, it does look really good, though I cannot complain about this alternative head scan. Of course, you've got the nice rubber entrance jacket sleeveless with the molded sleeves so of course you pop out the arms you plug these in you put the hands in boom you'll have this looking like this on the back of the packaging i'll probably display it like that at some point in the video but for right now we're just going to take a quick gander at everything of course the molded arm sleeves definitely does look good and it definitely looks good when you think about it AEW's version, they pretty much did the same thing on their end, and that was definitely a beautiful take for the figure, which is why I still will consider using that at the end of the day, because I don't always use the entrance jackets when he's in a match, because he wrestles almost every goddamn week. He does the American Nightmare Open Challenge in the pick fed, so he, he doesn't have the time to always be walking around in this, even though this is a really nice painted up jacket, all the different textures on it from down here to the smoothness on the white area, you've got the American Nightmare logo and all that up here feels different, you've got the little shoulder pads there. <clears throat> Sorry, I almost started to lose my voice there for a second. But just all the sculpting here definitely does look nice. But we've got pretty much all the accessories out of the way, of course. Taking a quick gander, you've got the hands here. One white, one normal. If it, it might be me, but I think this hand is a little off color with the skin tone because of the white paint because I think they just use a white molded hand and then just started painting the fingers instead of how they used to do it where I think they used to just paint the wrist tape on it and use a black peg but because they're doing pinlets yeah you, you notice where some of those kind of issues start coming in line because they wanted to use pinless and they didn't even do like pinless legs which is great honestly I'm not complaining there taking a nice close little look here at the weight belt you've got all the nice little sculpt detail in there the Cody on the back of the weight belt feels really cool 
I can't complain here, you know. Only thing I could complain about realistically is just how damn hard it is going to be to get this on your figure. And that's just because they made it so, like, damn small, it just, like, it wraps snug around the waist. Of course, getting into the one gripe I definitely have about this figure, though, is this head scan, which, it's not a bad head scan by any means, don't get me wrong. It's probably my favorite out of the two, but my problem is how they do the tattoo right below the ear, because they really... It really doesn't look like that at all. Even the AEW figures knew better and they didn't do it like that. So it's kind of annoying how the one head scan doesn't, but this one does. And I mean, I guess I get some areas are going to be covered by the head scan. But to be honest, I don't give a fuck. So maybe I'll get some acetone today if I get the chance and I'll acetone that off or... Whatever it is, I can't exactly remember what I used. It could have been acetone, maybe it was rubbing alcohol. I, I, no, it definitely wasn't rubbing alcohol. I'll figure it out in due time, but of course, taking a nice look at the rest of the figure, I am afraid to take the waist belt off, but oh well, already did so. And looking at all the different, like, details and the tights and just all of that good jazz, I just, I really love this look. I want to say this is what, his WrestleMania 39 attire? Yeah, it says it on the back of the box. I was about to say, I, I knew just from seeing this at Mania, it, it had to be a figure. And of course, they did all three of the big... Uh, big names from Mania 39, challenger-wise, and they made them into Ultimates. And we'll probably take a quick gander at all of them here in a little bit, but just looking at this is just gnarly, honestly. I love the gold trim on the boots here. You've got the American Nightmare logo. You've got the gold trim on the back. Just all the little nice details. Of course, nothing's, like, sculpted on this so like these little things here aren't sculpted on or nothing but oh well honestly i do really dig the tights and maybe that's a bit more accurate i don't know maybe he didn't have them sculpted on but with all that being said why don't i get them all posed up and maybe we can take a quick gander with the other ultimate editions from this wave all right i can't lie i did want to do like a quick little comparison while i was getting everything set up. I got the Ultimate Edition Cody all nice looking in the jacket. Got the Supreme figure out here. They honestly, they almost kind of scale up pretty well with each other. Honestly, I didn't think they would, but kind of looks like they do, maybe. Uh, I don't know. They kind of look like they scale up pretty well together, so... Maybe I can just say screw it and continue using the Supreme Cody as well, but I don't know how often I will use the Supreme Cody, but yeah, that was just kind of a quick little look at that. Now let's get into the final, final thoughts now, shall we? Well, alrighty, you guys. Now that I've got them posed up with the World Heavyweight Championship, I got the Ultimate Editions that came in the same wave up next to them. Getting a nice look at all of them. Of course, I have a custom shirt on the Kevin Owens, so don't mind that, I guess, unless you think it's cool. And if you do, well, I bought it off eBay, so I don't know who made it exactly. Maybe the seller made it himself, I don't know. But I thought it was a nice little cloth shirt to pick up, and honestly, I think it suits really well for Kevin Owens. And I did test it. You could put it on over, like, one of the rubber-shirted Elite Kevin Owens. And I think it honestly looks better on one of those, but if you're going to do any one of them, I, I can't say doing it with the Ultimate Edition with this custom shirt is too bad of a look. But of course, if I were to rank out of all three of them which ones I'd prefer, I'd have to go with the Cody number one, of course, because it does feel really nice in hand. The Sammy does too, but if you guys remember my 
original review, the Sammy, like, his arm kept popping off. So I don't know if that was just mine or what the ordeal was, but at the end of the day, the Sami Zayn is still pretty nice. I'd probably recommend that second. And the Kevin Owens with its height is kind of weird, but it does pose around super well. I did just finish using these guys in a pick fed match because I thought it would be super cool to use the Ultimate Editions for the match. And... I thought they posed up pretty well. Maybe they don't look the best in your opinion, but at least, if anything, the Cody Rhodes is pretty damn good. I can't complain about it. If I were to rank it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd have to give it a good solid, honestly, I'm going to say a good solid 9.5. This damn thing is almost near perfect. The neck tattoo is probably my worse like thing about this i hate seeing the tattoo on the head scan and i know that's been a big thing when it comes to mattel cody Rhodes, which is why i haven't bought a lot of them this is actually my first one as of recent years i used to have the undashing cody Rhodes, but sadly i did end up using that for a custom so womp womp to me but maybe you guys like realize that I could have potentially owned it with the idea that I do have the jacket from it still. So, yeah. Maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. If you did, though, you probably would because you've been watching the pig fed. Anywho, what would I rate this on a scale of 1 to Young Buck match? Of course, the good old star ratings, the Melter Stars. What would I have to say... Honestly, I'd have to rank them since I gave them a nine and a half. We're, we're going to say a good 4.3 out of five stars. Almost a damn near perfect match. You know, if anything, a set of fist hands and maybe like one alternative head scan would have set this through the roof for me. Because I was really hyped to see this. I do love seen like the ultimate edition figures which don't get me wrong there are small things about them that are not the best but i do love all the different articulation points you tend to get with them like the butterfly joints honestly makes posing way more fun and yeah the ab crunch isn't as there compared to the elite but honestly the butterfly joints in my opinion kind of make up for that and it's, some of them, it's really not all that bad. Like, this Sammy actually has a pretty decent ab crunch, I'd say, for an Ultimate Edition figure. And the Cody, I honestly, I didn't really test it out too, too much. But I, I'm sure it does pose up pretty well, especially with it being the new torso. Yeah, what much, what much more can I say about it, though? Just because, honestly, it does pose around really, really good everywhere else. I just can't remember if I really played around with the top half of it or not, but yeah, no, I am super stoked about this figure being in my collection, and I'm super stoked to maybe try to grab a couple other Mattel Cody Rhodes just to kind of add them to the collection and maybe use them for the Fed, who knows, but with that being said, I'm going to end this one a tad bit early because... I do want to try to get a couple more reviews done for you guys today. We've got two more packages that should be coming today. And they are in my city, so I know they should come at some point today. But it was saying like 610, which is kind of ridiculous. But on that note, if you like the video, feel free to like the video. If not, womp womp, I guess. But if you did like the video and you would like to check out some of my other action figure content, such as reviews, unboxings, and or pick fed content, feel free to go check that out on the channel. Of course, we do have playlists for some of that stuff as well. If you would like to check it out through the playlist, though, the reviews are not realistically up to date yet yeah, i think the last one i added to the reviews playlist was the eo sky review i'll probably update that after i get these reviews done today i tend to forget to do it sometimes but i try to make sure it's all uploaded by the day they were up like uploaded and i don't necessarily mean like 
I try to make sure they're in the playlist by that time. I mean, more or less, I try to make sure that I upload them by in order of review. Like, if I did these two first before this one, you're not going to see this one in the playlist before these two. At least that's how I'm trying to set it up. So, they're all in order. If you want to watch from the very beginning, feel free to do so. Though, it might be kind of shitty. I don't know. But, on that note... Two more things, if you would like to, feel free to also follow me on Instagram if you would like, and kind of do some stuff on there, get some likes every now and again, it would be nice to see maybe your account like some of my stuff too, so if you would like to, it's also under the same name of Derek's Damn Toys with the same profile picture, I don't have anything realistically different as I use it to promote the YouTube, so bada bing bada boom, and otherwise with that being said, one more thing, if you guys could, feel free to subscribe, after all, it is free to subscribe, and with that being said, you know, we are on the road to 250 subs, and honestly, I'm super excited if we can get there by August 18th, that would be the two-year anniversary of the channel, and yeah, I've got a couple of video ideas planned, but... We'll have to see when the time comes, but on that note, boys, we are out of here. So, deuces, ooses. I don't know why I did it so slow this time, but peace out, yo.